Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Nia and if you are here, you are more than likely wanting some tips to help you um, start to retighten your hair. And so these tips are beginners. I highly suggest people watching this before you go and start trying to retie your hair because I think that these tips will be really beneficial. So I know you're probably already stressed about having to do your hair. Um, so we're just gonna get right into this. <clears throat> so step number one. What I highly suggest when you're beginning and just starting to retighten your hair is to start by um, learning in the front because in the front you can see. Now, while you're learning in the front, I don't want you guys to rely on being able to see. Even though you can see, what I suggest that you do is you learn to feel what it feels like to hold your thumb on one side of your lock and then you put your tool in through and then when your tool hits the other side of your thumb that is when you pull your lock through so so as you guys can see i have my thumb on the back of my lock and i am taking my tool through my lock and when my tool hits my thumb i'm pulling it up with my thumb and pulling it through the lock this is helping me not combine locks when i go from north to south as you can see i put my pointer finger on the top of my lock and then in the same way i did with my thumb i'm letting my tool hit my my pointer finger that is blocking it from having it combined with any of the other locks this is the motion that you're going to need to master so that you can do the back of your head without having to see it so learn how to do this in the front and then you'll be able to do it in the back without seeing. Here I go again, I'm taking my, my thumb and I it hit my thumb, so now I'm pulling through the lock. It's not as crucial there because there wasn't a, another lock that was the edge, but now I'm doing it towards the bottom and as the, it hits my thumb, I'm pulling through and there we go. Now, you want to learn to do that because if you are retightening in the back and you're trying to just use sight and you've, you've somehow concocted like mirrors in the back and all these different things, I feel like you have a better chance of messing up. I have tried that and it, what works best for me is just doing it by, by feeling. All right, tip number two, you want to be using some sort of spray mixture. So this is just water with some of my favorite oils. I know it looks really gross, but there's lots of really good stuff in here. If you guys would like to know what I put in my spray bottles, I can definitely do a video on that soon. But you want to have some sort of water and oil to create slip. So we were all naturals. We know the importance of slip, but when you're retightening, it helps whenever your locks are snagged. It helps when your locks are snagged, but then also when we get into my next tip, when you're trying to undo a lock that you have combined. So you're gonna want some spray, a spray bottle with water and a little bit of oil. Now, when we're spraying our hair, we want it to be damp, not soaked. So you're only gonna spray one section because if you're just making it damp, if you spray your whole head, it's gonna dry by the time you get to like over here, if you start it in the back. So <clears throat> you're, gonna, you're gonna have sections and you're just gonna dampen the hair and then retighten it to make that slip. So tip number three. Okay, this one I feel a little bit iffy on because it's kind of like a do as I say and not as I do tip. But tip number three is do not panic when you combine a lock. Now, I have panicked 30,000 times. I've had complete breakdowns when I have combined locks. And now I said don't panic when you combine locks, not don't panic if you combine locks. It's likely that you will combine some locks. Um, there are lots of uh, sister lock gurus on Instagram and I've looked at a lot of their Insta lives, and most of them have combined locks. It's something that just happens, and guys, it's not the end of the world. But why I want you to stay calm is because 90% of the time, if you stay calm, you can get your locks uncombined. So this is how I do it. Now, I do, I'm not gonna have like a, a, I guess, tutorial on this because 
I'm not gonna combine my locks to show you guys. But as you can see, I use this tool, the O-locker tool. So once I have combined a lock, I go in with my tool and I just pull out the other lock from the other side. So I'm going in by the root and I'm trying to, I'm trying to snag the other lock on to my tool and pull it through. And I, the last time I was retightening my hair, that was a couple days ago, I probably combined four locks and I was able to get them all out. So if you don't panic and then just try your best to undo them, a lot of times you'll be able to get them out without cutting or anything. Um, if I combine a lock, I will uh, try my best to film how I get them out. But essentially, you are taking your tool and you're going down through the bottom again and you're trying to catch that lock that should not be looped into your, to the base of your other lock and you're pulling it through. All right, tip number four. Be careful when cutting. So, I know that um, it may be tempting to just cut your locks to, to get them uncombined, but when you're cutting your hair, you are detaching it from your scalp. And so now your hair is not uh, fully secured to your scalp. And that's when we get issues with breakage because your locks need more strands to be connected to your scalp. So be very sparing with the scissors. Um, use the scissors as a last, last resort, ladies, last resort. All right, tip number five. work in small sections. So what I do is I have four sections in the front. My hair is parted down the middle and I have one right here, one right here, and then on the other side, one over here and one over here. And then I have, let's see, one, two, three, six sections in the back. So I have, I have it split down the middle again and then there are sections going up this way. One, two, three. Um, by breaking your hair down into small sections, you're able to move hair out of the way easier so that you don't combine locks, but then also to give yourself a break. You want to take breaks and you want to stop if you are tired, because if you're tired, you're going to combine more locks. And now for my bonus tip. What you're going to want to do, because most of these tools are pretty small, have a designated spot for your tool. I learned this tip from my husband because he has been here when I've been running around like, oh, I can't even find my tool, I'm, I'm so sick of my sister locks, yeah. And so have some place, every time you put the tool down, put it back in your little thing. So this is what I have. I got it um, when I bought my tool off of Amazon. So every time you're done, put it back in the, little thing so this is my second video in my surviving quarantine with your sister locks series and so i have one other video on just tips for surviving quarantine and my next video is going to be on low maintenance styles and then i will also have a video on how to neaten up your hair in case you're having like neaten up the front without retightening if retightening is just not your not your jam and you need to do that for maybe like a Zoom interview or something. It's a quick way to neaten up the front without um, retying. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me during this video. Please like and subscribe. I look forward to all your comments in the comment section and I will respond to everybody. Thank you so much, bye-bye.